Welcome back to another episode of Feast with me, Brian Machinguera, and we're here in Melville outside Pablo Exgobar. Not Escobar like narcos or drug dealing or anything of that nature or anything. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that, okay? I'm gonna stop doing that. But anyway, why do you need to come here? Because these guys are a top dog. They've got 4.4 out of 5 rating on Zomato. That's another top dog, top 10. Why? Because they've got wonderful breakfast cuisine. They've got a drive-in. Man, the juice bar. I'm gonna show you all of that and I'm gonna eat on your behalf as usual. So follow me, let's go. Standing here with the founder, the experts, if you will. Louis Rue, how are you doing, man? Good on you, man. Awesome. Welcome to Pablo, brother. I'm happy to be here. Um, there's a lot of food. Yeah. Uh, it looks really good. Right? I just told you this on camera now. Yeah. But the painting is like top notch. Yeah. Top notch painting. So, uh, this caught my eye. Yeah. Okay, so this is our carbonara. Three eggs scrambled with bacon, garlic, and this is spring onion. And then the palm of the cheese. This is our rich sugar. Three eggs crunched in the middle, this is our tomato. Okay. And then we have our malala for the end of the bread. This is our small potato salad, our house hummus. This is a new average uh, hummus cherry bowl. It's like a green chili and green pepper garlic. Salsa, fresh coriander, parsley, and red onion olive oil. First dish, let's go. Man, this thing is gorgeous guys, like it looks, <laughs> it looks amazing. Oh dear God. There's like a lemonness, there's like a real like lemonness to this thing. It's so <laughs> I'm probably never gonna make eggs. I'm never gonna make eggs again after this because how do you eat eggs again when the bar is set so high? This is so good, man. Like, uh, I gotta taste the next dish. I gotta try the next dish. This straight up 10 out of 10 meal, straight up. And I don't just give out ratings like that. That's like 10 out of 10. That's real, real. Next one, number two. On the meal. Oh, oh good. This is exceptional. Exceptional. Exceptional meat. It kind of tastes like a has like a dinnery kind of feel, but then it tastes really really good it has like a fantastic bunch of flavor to it this is a bit more hearty compared to like the love but like oh man one more i gotta try one more i'll hold three dishes the last one so just to follow instructions gotta dip it in Get it with the afro. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna finish all of this and uh, I'll see you guys later because yeah, I need a moment alone with this food. That's what I need. As you can see, this place is buzzing. Uh, and I've been looking forward to this bad boy. Yeah. So tell me, what, what is this right here? Okay, so we got a, this is basically our Amigo de Pablo. Friends Amigo of de Pablo. Pablo. Friends of Pablo. Um, it's a fresh pressed lime juice, pineapple, tequila, and soul 
Bloody Mary. Okay, so it's a little bit carbonated. You oh. get like punch. Oh. <laughs> you get the punch. I'm gonna As you said it, I got the punch. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so we basically top it up with soul and then when you finish this, oh. you hit this uh, ginger apple and lemon shot. Or, or before, you know what? Why don't yeah, you let's, go, let's, go for it. let's do this. Go for it, just smash this bad boy. Uh, Bottoms up. Like straight up. Straight up. Yeah, baby. Uh, it's like vegan tequila, you know? A spicy. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. We have one more. One more. It's a warmer drink. Yeah. Got the P for Pablo. P for Pablo, baby. <laughs> so what is this exactly? Okay, so this is our, our hot, warm turmeric, black pepper. And that's all I'm saying about that. I don't want to say anymore. It's our little secret recipe. This is the last thing we're going to have. This has just been an experience. Um, so I'm going to say long live Pablo. Amen, baby. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, that's crazy. This is actually really cool. What do you taste it? I don't know, like I've never tasted anything like it. So it's like... Have another sip, second sip. Get the pepper. What do you taste in there? Like the pepper is very subtle. Like it's not like extreme. Because when you mentioned pepper earlier, like I thought it was going to be like hard pepper. And that's going to be... But it's actually really nice and balanced. Man, yeah. Louis. Kicking ass. You gave me an experience today, mate. Thank you. Bro. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank I, hope, you. Uh, Thank I, you. Hope you, I hope you feel good inside. I feel like I'm going to sleep well. I feel like I'm going to have a wonderful bowel passings. <laughs> Yo, I'm ready to get out of here. Let's go. Oh, um, <laughs> what can I say? That was an experience from having a different kind of savory kind of meal involving eggs and having a more breakfast kind of refreshing kind of vibe and then having like ginger shots and like Bloody Marys and man this place is just a whole lot experience just like we said like when you come here it really is like an escape you really come and you experience something different so you guys definitely need to come to Pablo Expo and just so you know they're number four they're the fourth best breakfast place in Joburg so that's more incentive for you to come here so until next time me I am out until next time like share subscribe to the channel because I